Pediatrics, where we provide exceptional care to children and young adults. Giving back to our community is key to our mission, and we're so happy you've joined us for virtual bedtime stories, Children Leading to Children. At this time, our storyteller will introduce himself and the book he selected to read this evening. Hello, my name is Mylan and I'm a student at NBCA. Today, the book we'll be reading about is called Lego Ninjago, Master of Spinjitsu, The Way of the Ninja. Meet Kai. Clang, clang. Kai pounded metal into the shape of a sword. He dipped the hot metal into a bucket of cold water. Then he pulled out a crooked sword. You made it too quick, Kai, said his sister, Nia. Be patient. Don't worry, Nia, said Kai. I'm going to be a better blacksmith than Dad ever was. An old man with a white beard walked into the shop. These are tools for a samurai, he said, looking around, but nothing for a ninja. Ninja, Kai laughed. There are no ninja in these parts, old man. Kai turned to Nia. When he looked back, the old man was gone. That night, an army of skeleton warriors roared into Kai's village on their skull motorbikes. Their king, Samukai, led them in his skull truck. Let me go first, Wine Knuckle, a skeleton commander. I'm dying to go down there. Nitwit, you're already dead, barked his partner, Cruncher. Besides, Master Samukai said, I could go first, Cruncher added. Sorry, boys, this one is mine. Samukai said, just find the map. Samukai's red eyes gleamed like fire. Attacked, he yelled. Enter the skeletons. Vroom, vroom, vroom. The warriors zoomed into the village on their skull motorbikes. Samukai steered the skull truck towards Kai's blacksmith shop. The villagers screamed and ran away. Kai raced out to fight the warriors. He swung his samurai sword and one of the skeleton's heads popped off. Ow, Kai cried as the skeleton bit his ankle. Bite this. He kicked the skeleton's head like a football. The other warriors clapped as the skull flew through the air. Nia stepped out and whacked two of the warriors with her staff. You should have stayed back, Kai told her, and let you have all the fun, Nia asked. While Kai and Nia fought the skeletons, Knuckle and Cruncher snuck into the blacksmith shop. Inside Kai's shop, Knuckle put on a samurai hat. You're not looking hard enough, Cruncher said, popping him on the head. Ow! No, you're not looking hard enough, cried Knuckle, throwing the helmet at Cruncher. Bam! Pow! Crunch! The two skeletons slapped at each other. Cruncher banged into the wall. The sign over the door fell down. The two skeletons gasped when they saw something hidden behind the sign. The map! They shouted. Kai's mission. Outside, Semukai leapt down from his truck. He grabbed four knives and attacked Kai. As Kai fell back, a cry ran out. Ninja go! A spinning gold tornado whirled between Kai and Semukai. The tornado smacked into Semukai. When it stopped spinning, the old man from the shop stood there. Sensei Wu, cried Semukai. Your spinjitsu looks rusty. With a grin, Semukai threw his knives. They smacked into an old water tower. The tower started to fall. Ninja go! With a yell, Sensei Wu spun and picked up Kai before the tower could land on him. Laughing, Semukai jumped in his truck. Garvanon says to get the girl, he growled. Cruncher pulled the lever. 
a skeleton claw swung out of the truck and grabbed Nia. Then the skull truck sped away. Nia! screamed Kai. He picked up his sword. I'm going to get my sister back. Where they go, no more, no mortal may go. Sensei Wu told him, that was Semokai, king of the underworld. If it was, if he's working for Lord Garmadon, things are worse than I thought. A tale of two brothers. Why did they come here? What did they want? Kai asked. Long before time had a name, Ninjago was created by the first Spinjitsu master. Sensei Wu began. He used the four weapons of Spinjitsu, the scythe of quakes, the nunchucks of lightning, the shurikens of ice, and the sword of fire. When the master passed away, his two sons swore to protect him. Sensei Wu went on, but the oldest brother was taken that over by darkness. He wanted the weapons for his own. A battle between brothers broke out. The oldest was struck down and sent to the underworld. The younger brother hid the weapons in four different places, said Sensei Wu. He sent a guardian to protect each one, and then he gave them out to an honest man to hide. That honest man was your father. Kai's eyes grew wide. The older brother and Lord Garmadon, Sensei Wu told Kai, I must find those weapons before he does. You're the younger brother, Kai asked. Then you came here looking for the map. Sensei Wu shook his head. No. He said, I came for something greater. You. You have the fire inside, Kai, Sensei Wu said. You can help me. Kai turned away. I don't care about all that. I just need to get my sister. Sensei Wu twirled around and kicked, knocked down Kai with his staff. He put his foot on Kai's chest. If you want to get your sister back, you must learn to tame the fire inside, said Sensei Wu. Only if you master Spinjitsu will you be ready to face Lord Garmanon. Kai knew Sensei Wu was right. Together they began a long journey to Sensei Wu's dojo. Ninja in training. Complete this training course before I finish my tea, Sensei Wu told Kai. Then we will see if you are ready. Day after day, Kai tried to complete the course. He battled wood so soldiers on a spinning platform, but he smacked into one of the soldiers and fell down. Fail, Sensei Wu said. Kai tried to jump across a row of spinning spikes. Once again, he flew. Fail, he said Sensei Wu. Kai failed and failed and failed again, but he didn't give up. He kept training. Finally, Kai got it right. He dodged weapons. He jumped on pillars. He fought wind soldiers with his sword, and he did it all before Sensei Wu finished his tea. So now can I learn Spinjitsu? Kai asked. You already have, Sensei Wu replied. Your final, your final test comes tomorrow. And then there were four. That night, Kai practiced Spinjitsu while he brushed his teeth. Take that, and that, and this, he cried, spinning around. Then he stopped. He was surrounded by three ninjas dressed in black. Kai threw his toothbrush at the ninja, then he leapt onto a ceiling beam. One of the ninja jumped in front of him. Hiya! Kai cried, knocking him down. But another ninja tossed him outside. Kai landed in the training yard. He made the platforms and the pillars spin. The spinning platforms slammed into the ninja, but they jumped back to their feet. Bam, pow, kick! All three of the ninjas attacked Kai. He fought back bravely. Sensei Wu's voice rang out, stop! The three ninja bowed, yes, Sensei. They're your students too, Kai asked. And Sensei Wu nodded. This was my final test, wasn't it? What is the meaning of this master? One of the ninjas asked. Each of you is in tune with a different element, Sensei Wu explained. But first, ninja go! Sensei Wu began to spin. 
he whirled around the ninja with he stopped the ninja were all wearing different uniforms kai wore a uniform red kai master of fire sensei will said then he pointed to the ninja in blue jay is blue master of lightning black ninja is cold sensei Wu went on solid as rock master of earth finally he went and approached the ninja in white and white ninja is zane master of ice you four are the chosen ones who will protect the weapons of spinjitsu from lord garmina sensei Wu told them but what about my sister demanded kai Jay gasped. We're saving a girl. Is she cute? Does she like blue? When we find the weapons of Spin when we find the weapons, we will find your sister, Kai. Sensei would promise. It is time. We must go find the first weapon. Cole stepped up. Hold on a minute. You said you were going to teach us Spinjitsu. Spinjitsu is inside each of you, Sensei would reply. But it will only be unlocked when the key is ready to be found. Great. Now we have to find a key, Jay complained. I feel like he's taking us for a ride, Cole added. Kai pulled on his red hoodie. If it means finding my sister, then sign me up. The four ninja followed Sensei Wu into the night. I hope you enjoyed the book. To hear another virtual bedtime story, save this link and place it on your calendar for Wednesday at 7 p.m. Have a good night.